In the last episode, we looked at modeling our products and prices. We set up three different products, startup, business, and enterprise, and each of those have both a monthly price and an annual price. In this episode, I wanna talk about a more advanced feature of the API that is, a, that is API only as of this recording, and that is lookup keys. So each price object has a property called a lookup key. The lookup key comes in handy when we're trying to build a really dynamic pricing page that allows us to test out different prices. Now, by default, we might only have one monthly price for a given product that we wanna display on our pricing page. However, if we wanna test out our pricing, so for instance, if we wanted to change our price from $24 a month to $28 a month and see how that performed, rather than needing to deploy new code that referenced those certain price objects, what we could do is use a lookup key and have the same lookup key on the old price and transfer that to the new price. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So here we have a six prices. We're using the Stripe shell here to list out the prices. So we're saying Stripe prices list. This gives us all of our different price objects. So within here, we have one price that is $24 and that is underneath the, uh, the startup here. So if, for instance, what one thing that we could do is copy the ID of the monthly price, that is this, this price here, and say that we wanna update this. So Stripe prices update, pass in the ID of that price and give it a, a lookup key of startup. This is going to set the lookup key on the price to startup. Now, every single price in your Stripe account has to have a either a nil lookup key or a unique lookup key. So this lookup key is going to be unique across your Stripe account. What's cool is that what we can do now is say Stripe prices list, and we can ask for only the lookup, only the prices that have the lookup keys of startup. That will return just this single price that is the startup price. Now you can start to imagine, maybe you already have the idea or an inkling about how you might build a pricing page where you say, just give me the prices where the lookup keys are startup or business or enterprise. And that would give you back just the prices that you need. What's really cool is there is another argument to the API when you're, when you're creating prices is to create a brand new price and transfer the lookup key from the old price to the new, to a new price. So let's say we wanted to say, um, Let's say we wanted to test out some pricing for a new pricing level for this given product. So we're gonna create another monthly price. We're gonna try increasing the price and see how that performs in the market. So we're gonna say Stripe prices create for the product that we already have, the, um, the unit amount this time is gonna be $28 and the currency it's gonna be the same. Recurring interval is gonna be month. Tax behavior is exclusive still. But now we can say lookup key. We want the lookup key for this new price to be startup. And we can say transfer lookup key true. What that will do is it will move the lookup key called startup from the old price to the new price. Now, when we say Stripe prices list for startup as our lookup key, the price that we're getting back is at the $28 amount. So we just created a brand new price and moved the lookup key from the old price to the new price. That's really powerful because when we build our pricing page later, we wanna do it based on lookup keys. Again, this is an API only feature, so we need to use the API or the Stripe CLI or this Stripe shell here in order to work with and modify those lookup keys on price objects. This is something that we hope to add to the dashboard uh, soon, but for now, this is API only. So that is how you use lookup keys. They're very powerful, and I would say it's a bit of a more advanced feature, not necessarily required for, for modeling your business, but can be very handy if you're gonna build your own pricing page. All right, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.